the biggest takeaway on trips like these are how important they are and it gives us an opportunity to all come together with the community leaders and people who care passionately about what's going on in Topeka. And the communities are so similar. They're doing so many things right, but we got a lot of great ideas and also reinforcing the things that we're doing really well. So um, everything from military relations and partnerships and focus on downtown redevelopment and supporting the small business community and attracting private investment and really the big picture vision. So. The biggest takeaway I think was is how similar we are to other communities. Um, nationally we're all dealing with the same things but some really ingenious ways that we can all become involved as a community, as individuals, as businesses to collaborate and create change. And probably my biggest takeaway from the Montgomery trip is to be able to tell our story. In Topeka, we have a lot of history. And we know bits and parts of being able to tell our story incisively across all phases of our various parts of the community. Here in Montgomery, they pretty much tell the same story collectively from all aspects. Something that really stuck with me was from one of our speakers who said, if you don't see it before you see it, you're never going to see it. And I think that we need to have those big, bold visions and imagine them first, or we're never going to see them. So I'm really excited about how we're going to do that and where we're going to go. And I think really the biggest takeaway I've uh, noticed is it seems like no matter where you're at, cities and municipalities seem to have a lot of the same issues that they have to deal with. And so what uh, is nice is just seeing a different perspective of how they're dealing with some of the same issues that we're dealing with. But Montgomery really impressed me from the standpoint of private sector investment. And the other thing that really uh, got my attention is the use of the history that they have here in Montgomery. Uh, we have such a, uh, a great history in Topeka, and we need to take advantage of that just as much as Montgomery has done. So one of my biggest takeaways was that um, they truly embrace their military, and they that military has helped grow their workforce um, and uh, helped them become a smart city, I believe. So I look forward to us taking what they've done with the military and transforming it, it into what we can do for our community. I guess the biggest takeaway I have uh, gotten from this trip to Montgomery is how similar the problems that our cities face are, despite the, the vast geographic difference. Um, and that a lot of the ideas that we're using in Topeka to try and make our community better, um, these folks have, have worked on down here. And it's, it's, for me, it's a really good sanity check to know that what we're doing is the right path for our community. Over the last couple of days, when we look at downtown and what Montgomery has done, and some of the things that they've been able to implement in looking at our own downtown, that's going to be the biggest takeaway that I've had so far. Um, looking at the things that, that worked, the things that didn't, um, what it took, the steps to get from where they were at to where they are now, and where we want to be in the future. A lot of cities have the same issues that we do. Uh, everything from budget, manpower, recruiting, uh, diversity, and we're all trying new things to try to help us get to where we need to be. I see a lot of similarities in not just the problems, but also the solutions. And I think if we have a collaborative act, uh, way of going around things in Topeka, public-private partnerships from the industries, the businesses, and the colleges and schools, we can do a better job in Topeka. I think my biggest takeaway was a statement somebody made, uh, if you don't see it before you see it, you're never going to see it. <laughs> and that's so true. I think you have to have a vision, and, and the people of Montgomery certainly have had a vision. If I, if I would pick out one thing, it would be seeing the EJI come here and see how they addressed head on their racial issues and their past. Um, we too are, are working on that in Topeka and it, it's, it's so clear here how by doing that um, people were able to come to terms with that to a great extent and begin to move on and begin to really flourish and I hope that for Topeka as well.